Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Ann and I are out here on our back deck. We're going to do a product review on this multi tool from uh, Wild Badger. Uh, it is a leaf blower. It also has a string trimmer that can be used as a trimmer or an edger. It also has a wheel attachment for the edger part, which is, is pretty cool. It comes with two batteries. Uh, I really like that feature. I always like having multiple batteries for my power tools. It comes with a charger, obviously, uh, for the batteries. So anyway, we're going to take this out. We're going to show you what's in the box. We're going to assemble it. We're going to use it. And then we'll give you our final review. Okay, let's open the box and see what's in here. Obviously, I already cut the tape loose. But uh, here we go. We'll start here. I got one of the batteries. Um, we'll put a link in the description where you can uh, purchase one of these if you would like. But the good thing about that, it also has all the details about the, the size of the batteries, the, uh, which these are 20 volt batteries. I think they were two amp hours. Yeah, two amp hours. But the description uh, with the link in the block bottom for Amazon would give you all the details about the specs for the tool. Anyway, there's one of our batteries. This should be the other one. Like I said, it comes with two batteries. Uh, I would guess this is the charger for the batteries. Yep, that's the charger for charging the batteries. I expected that to be a little bit bigger, but it's, I guess it's big enough. Just extra cardboard. Just extra cardboard. All right, Ann, what you got on your end? Extra cardboard. Extra cardboard. All right, I got a bag of parts. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get into this right quick, take the parts out. Um, from what I understand, there's only a few things that you have to assemble on this multi-use tool. Uh, we've got a couple of screws here. We've got a handle for the, uh, the arm on the weed eater or the string trimmer part. This is the guide with the wheel for the edging. So we've got those screws for them. This is the uh, motor, I guess, for the, the blower part. So that's nice. Got the tube for it. Um, has a little attachment here on the end that can that comes off and on. Uh, so that's for the, the blower itself. This is the handle for the string trimmer part. Uh, looks like it's already got line in it. I don't know how you feed that or add it or anything, but we'll look into that in a little bit. But what I understand, yeah, if you unscrew this, that will extend out. I think that's a real nice feature. Uh, but we're gonna, at this point, we're going to put the parts together and uh, see what happens. Putting the blower together could not be much easier. There's two little notches, latches, whatever, on the side of the handle and the blower nozzle just clicks into that and then just make sure it's turned off speaking from experience before you put the battery in battery just slides in and you're ready to go now on the string trimmer part there's only two parts that you have to put on it uh, the handle is the first part that I installed. Now, up here on the handle, you take this thumb screw all the way out, and your handle goes in here. I guess it goes that way. Put your thumb screw back in, you tighten it down. You can adjust this pretty much any angle you want, and uh, that's, that's all there is to that. Now, it's a little bit stiff, but this part will slide up and down here a little bit, but it is stiff. You may struggle a little bit, but it will slide up and down. If you want your handle adjusted a little bit different, closer or further from this part of the handle. So that is adjustable as well. Now the other thing you got is on the power head, you got your shroud. And I put a close up picture of these two holes right here. They got to line up with the two tabs over here on the power head. And I'll show you a picture of that up close. And once you line those up, get your string coming through the hole. If I can get this through here. 
line up those things just like that and then it comes with three Phillips screws that you got three holes here that you put those Phillips screws in and I'll show you a picture of that up in the corner and that's all there is to assembling this thing now for adjusting your string um, right here on the side there's a little gray square button that can, you can push in. If you push that in, you can pull the string out a little bit if you need a little extra. Uh, just It just comes out a little at a time every time you push it in and out. Uh, there's two gray tabs that are a little larger, one there and one here. If you push both of those in, you can take this cap off and the spool is under there that your string for your string trimmer is wrapped around if you need to add string to it. Uh, now also you got two other things right here you got one of these gray buttons like this on both sides and you can adjust the tilt of the power head with that and also, and obviously I don't have my screws in that yet there's a button right here you can match that and turn the power head in relation to the shaft so if you're, you're doing edging or trimming you may want the power head in a different angle but still have the handles in a comfortable position, you can do that with this string trimmer, and I really like that. Oh, and Ann's just telling me from behind the camera, I missed one thing. With this part here, you can loosen this, and the, the shaft will extend or contract to get the length that you want. Now, I personally like it all the way out. I think she liked it in a little bit, but that is also adjustable uh, to make it more comfortable for when you're using it. I'm going to cut some of this stuff that's a little bit higher. Now in this case I have rotated the head so I can use the wheel along the edge of our sidewalk. So uh, here we go. Now obviously we don't have a lot of grass along our sidewalk but that worked. And now for my final review. Uh, I feel like every tool has its place. Every tool has good points and bad points. This tool is no exception to that. Uh, the things I like, I like that the handle here is adjustable. I like that the shaft length is adjustable. I like that you can rotate the power head in relationship to your handle. I like that there's a wheel here. It really helps if you've got sidewalks that you need to edge. I mean, we don't have much of a sidewalk to edge, but uh, it does work. Uh, I like those features. I do find that the power head is underpowered. If you notice when I was weed eating uh, some of the grass, you had to really take your time or the motor would stall out. Uh, it just didn't have the power 
to get the job done like you would want to. Uh, it does work. You just got to take your time and go slow. Now for the blower, um, it was quite disappointing. It is way too underpowered. If you notice when we were blowing on our front porch, we were blowing leaves that fell off of our fern plants. They were very lightweight. We blew those off just fine. And if that's the kind of stuff you've got, it'll do the job for you. Uh, we blew some uh, dust and stuff out of our garage. We didn't video that, but we did, and it worked on that just fine. But if you got anything with some weight to it, if it's stuck a little bit to the floor, it just doesn't have the power to blow it off. Uh, I do feel like the, the blower needs a stronger motor. Uh, you has got a two amp hour, uh, two you know, amp hour battery. Uh, they certainly could put more power in the motor so it would blow better. So that's my biggest complaint there. Uh, so all in all, the tools work, but they're definitely light, very light duty kind of uh, tools. Um, if you've got light duty, very light duty work to do, uh, like blowing light weight leaves and stuff off your deck and your sidewalk, it'll do that. If you've got a little grass around your house that needs to be trimmed, it can do that. If you've got a lot of grass, it's going to be slow, but it can do it. So anyway, that's my final review. And at this point, uh, we do have a link in the description if you'd like to purchase one. It's on Amazon, and uh, we do get a small commission if you buy one, but don't buy it because I said so. Um, but anyway, just like to say thank you for visiting. Do it yourself with Wayne, and we hope you have a great day.